Where the hell is Big B? Oh, come on! Where is he? Are you fucking kidding Are me? Are you sure he's coming? Yes, any minute. And then we'll get started. I really appreciate you taking the time. I know it's short notice, but given the circumstances... What have you done? Oh, God. Bigby. Shit. He killed him. Holy shit. I didn't think you had it in you, Bigby. Stop it! You ripped him apart! I told you to bring him back alive! You really fucked him up. It's over. Crooked man is dead. No shit. I thought I wanted him gone. But this? It's terrible. No, it isn't. What the hell happened? Tell me. Tell me why you did this. I think it's pretty clear. He nearly ripped his head off. I had to do this. He was a danger to all of us. I couldn't risk bringing him back here unless I removed the threat. And you felt comfortable making that call on your own? Look at him. Oh, God. Would it have been that hard to restrain him? Did you really have to murder the man? Hang on. It's not murder. Then what would you call it? Justice, maybe? This is not justice! You know it's not. Why not? This is Big B Wolf doing whatever the hell he wants. I say it is justice, and that's the end of it. Are you serious? That is not the end of it. What are you getting on his case about? He did the right thing here. If this fucker killed Lily... And Faith. How can we be sure of that? Without a trial, what evidence do we have? We never had anything concrete. That's why we needed him here. Georgie told me everything. The crooked man made him kill those girls. He gave the order. Georgie? Where's Georgie now? If we bring him in for questioning, we... What? Where is he? Big B? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Don't worry about it. It's done. What? Georgie and the crooked man were guilty of murder. I made sure they couldn't hurt anyone else. You mean... So he's dead. Is that what you're telling me? I don't even know what to say to you right now. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. You're on board with this? I don't know. I mean, it's not like the crooked man didn't deserve it. And if Georgie killed you him... You think anyone deserves this? Your job is to keep Fabletown safe. The minute you start abusing your position by attacking people, we betray the trust of this community. And killing those people out there, on your own, without my... without due process, it makes us look what? like... killers? How could you do this? It's just one thing after another. Look, I'm glad he's fucking dead. I solved this case. The crooked man gave the order, Georgie carried it out, and I took care of both of them. I made myself very clear. This is not okay. Snow's right. This is disgusting. Oh, it's much worse than that. What? Are you guys buddy-buddy with the crooked man all of a sudden? What the fuck is wrong with you? Grant. Everyone, that's enough. Bigby, I can't protect you without the support of this community. The minute you kill another suspect, I won't be able to stop them from calling for your resignation. And yours. If that happens, I can't defend you. I thought you had my back, Snow. I do, but that only goes so far. Listen, maybe you were right this time about the Crooked Man, but what happens when you're wrong? The second you make a mistake about someone, I won't watch you become a murderer. I think it's too late for that. Then don't. Just keep your nose clean and pretend it never happened. I don't care. I'm not gonna change the way I do things. Having some personnel issues, Miss White? Can't control your mutt? Bluebeard, this is hardly the time. It looks like as long as the wolf thinks you're guilty, he has free reign to murder you in your sleep. No. 
That's not Is this how... Is what we can expect from now on? Yeah, you make one mistake and Bigby's gonna rip your head off? Hey, that's not fair. Nah, I'll just bat you around for a while. Make sure you get thoroughly fucked up. That's not going to happen. You really don't want to tempt me. Excuse me? What the hell are you doing? Jesus, Bigby, what the hell is wrong with you? Please, the sheriff isn't going you to... You see? The wolf does whatever the hell he wants, and the princess is no better. Now, hang on a minute. You don't believe me? They came to my apartment, and then for no earthly reason, they burned my tree to ashes. She ordered it done. What? Why would you do that? If you ask me, you're both monsters. Snow? She was helping people glamour themselves as other fables. We couldn't let that continue. I can't say I'm fucking surprised. I am. Snow, how could you do that? Snow wanted the tree destroyed, so I did it, all right? Yes, because she was helping Crane and the Crooked Man. Would you rather have that continue? What choice did I have? You can pretend it's about law and order, but it's time you stopped lying to yourself. You wanted to get back at me for what Crane did. But that doesn't justify it. You both just act out of your own selfish desires. It doesn't matter what's right. At this point, I'd rather have Crane. You don't mean that. At least Crane didn't kick the shit out of everybody. Or destroy what's ours. He also earned the position. You know what? You'd rather have Crane than you fucking deserve him. You fucked up your own lives, dealing with criminals, making your own bad fucking choices. And now you want to blame us for your screwed up situation. I've been trying to fix the mess you made. How dare you? Is this how it's gonna be? You're gonna blame us. Big B's right. You people don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Do you seriously think you want Crane back? He was an asshole, and he didn't do shit for any of you. Snow and Bigby found my sister, when Crane wouldn't even look. Yeah, but they only came around when they thought it was Snow White who ate it. No, Snow cared about Lily. She cares about all of us. And if she's in charge, then I know she's gonna look out for us. Thank you. Holly. Oh, come on, Holly. You know that's not gonna stop the sheriff from pulling the same shit he always has. I mean, this, I get. But I didn't do shit wrong, and I got tossed around your fucking bar. That was different, Gren. Well, they haven't done anything for me. Crooked man screwed me over, and then this asshole just came by to make it worse. Everyone, please, just calm down. We have a right to be heard. Are you afraid of what we have to say? This isn't helping. <gasps> Bigby. Don't. Please, do not blame the Sheriff for his outburst. It isn't Bigby's fault. He can't control his nature. And frankly, I wouldn't dare ask him to try. But with a Sheriff so impulsive, shouldn't the new Deputy Mayor have at least some command over her office? Beard? Are either of them fit to run this town? Can I say something? Excuse me? Marissa. Who the hell is she? My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, please step aside. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? You're done. I haven't been able to speak my mind for a long time. We were prisoners at that club. We had nowhere to go. No one cared enough. Certainly not Crane. You're acting like they haven't done anything good in the last few days, but you know that's not true. Because of the Sheriff and Snow, I can finally talk about what happened to me, to all of us. We're free now, and I think that should count for something. Thank you, Nerissa. She's right. We haven't been there for you in the past, and I'll be the first to admit we've made plenty of mistakes. But I truly want what's best for this town, and we're trying to make things right. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And I'm sure Bigby does too. It's going to take some time to clean up Crane's mess, but he's gone now. The Crooked Man is dead, the killer has been found, and you can all rest easy knowing we're here to look out for you. I'll make sure of it. While that's all very touching, 
Is it enough? I'm still not convinced Miss White has what it takes to control the Sheriff. Or run this town. I am. We haven't really given them a chance. Crane just left. Let's see what Snow and Bigby can do on their own. I trust Snow to do right by us. I think they've had enough chances. Things are finally changing around here. Maybe you don't feel it, but I do. Bigby and Snow are good for Fable Town. She's right. Now that things have settled down, I'm sure they can do better. And we will. Right, Sheriff? Riddance, at least. This won't end well. Shit. It's over now. 